Hi, this is David Ojedo with Fritzpak Corporation. If you've watched our other videos, you know how important air entrainment in concrete is, from increasing durability to helping with freeze-thaw cycles. But recently, I've seen some comments about how easy it is to entrain air using regular dish soap. And today I want to explain why that's a bad idea and why you should be using our Air Plus products to get the air entrainment you need. If you need a refresher, you can check out our other air and training videos in the link below. But let's start with the idea that not all air and concrete is created equal. The specification for air and trainers in concrete is ASTM C260. Not only do you have to show that a product can generate air and concrete, you also have to show that the air is stable and creates a uniform matrix. These are done by tests more than just a standard air meter. The reason for these tests is to show that the foaming agent works in the harsh environment of concrete. When you think about concrete, specifically cement, you should realize that it creates a very mineral salt heavy and alkali environment. So when you're thinking about using an air entraining agent, you need to use one that's gonna be able to foam in these conditions. Uh, Cause if it doesn't hold up, it's not a very good material to use. So let me show you what I mean. We're going to take some regular water and some dish soap, and let's see how much foam we can generate. After a minute of mixing, we've generated about 60 milliliters of foam. As you can see, the foam is very stable and uniform. Looks good, right? But how will dish soap perform in a cementitious environment? Now, instead of regular water, let's use some cement water. This water will carry all the normal mineral salts and alkalinity of regular concrete. After a few minutes, we skim the water off the top, add the same amount of dish soap as before, and see how much foam we can generate now. After the same mixing time, we've only generated about 25 milliliters of foam, less than half the amount we got before. In addition, you can see that the foam looks visibly different and breaks very easily. So what does this tell us? Basically, when we subject it to a typical concrete environment, regular dish soap creates weak foam that is not uniform. And it should be no surprise. We don't know of any dish soap out there that is ASTM C260 tested and approved. Unlike our products Air Plus and Super Air Plus, which are made from specialty chemicals that have been tested and approved by NETPEP, dozens of state DOTs, Army Corps of Engineers, and others. Thanks for watching our video. And the next time you need to entrain air in your concrete, don't reach for this stuff. Just use a bag of Air Plus or Super Air Plus to get the job done. If you're ready to order a case, visit us online at fritzpack.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more information on how our products can improve your concrete.